OK, well, it's good to see that of the albums from the current batch of releases, Rough Mix is one LP to have got almost unanimously good reviews. It was made by our guests tonight, Pete Townsend and Ronnie Lane. Welcome to the programme, gentlemen. Hello, We're actually on the air now. You're actually on the air, Pete, yes. And it, it, it's interesting, too, coming out of that uh, little section we had there on New Wave, Pete, because you've been on the front page of Melody Maker last week with views about that area of music. I mean, do you want to develop those at all? Well, I was just saying, actually, when I saw that bloke in that American band, the English band was much better than the American band. I thought so, yeah. But the American band playing the bass, you know, kind of going like that. <laughs> he never did that. <laughs> he couldn't do that now. No. So it shows there's a progression. <laughs> Must be. Wonderful. Yeah. Great. Really, isn't it? Yeah. Let's talk about the album. So I told I. What album? <laughs> Your album. Oh, you? that one. Yeah. When did you first start putting plans together for that LP? Uh, well, last summer, really. Uh, I had a few songs, Pete had a few songs, and uh, a couple of songs came along the way. But, uh, we thought about it for a while. We didn't really put plans together, we just walked in the studio with a batch of songs. Mm. Yeah. Was it something you'd been talking about for a while, though, to do? Yeah, sort of on and off. I mean, I think it cropped up a couple of years ago. He came down to my place and stayed in Shelley 9 <laughs> <laughs> for a while and made himself a general oh, that's, nuisance. That's, that's making it sound a bit grand, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you ain't never seen Shelley 9, have you? Never mind. We won't go into that now. I'll send a photograph. You can put it on a screen next week. All right. But uh, we started talking about it then, and then it sort of wandered off. And then last summer, uh, I went to have a talk with Peter about various things and it cropped up again. And uh, we decided to do it. Mm. Yeah. Talking about chalet number nine, I mean, if you've never seen a high-rise tent, <laughs> <laughs> you'll never actually real. I mean, when he says he came out to talk about it, I mean, it, we came around with these two blokes, they're about seven foot six or so, you know, and he said, I want to make an album, Pete. <laughs> and I remember in Don Arden, you know, I thought, well, yeah, yeah, you know, I'd be glad to, Rob. No, it's rude to refuse, I think. It is refuse, it's rude, <laughs> rude to say no, so I said, I'll look forward to it. Yeah. Because, I mean, the, the title, Rough Mix, anyway, implies this kind of looseness anyway. Doesn't yeah, very it? loose. Very loose. The people that you use, for example, I mean, did it just kind of evolve that you suddenly thought that you'd like to bring in somebody and in they came? And I mean, how, how did the album come together? How did it come together? <laughs> this is what we're keen to find out. This is what we're here tonight to discuss. <laughs> How did it come together? Well, I mean... He, I he know. doesn't know. I can't remember. I would say. I mean... I mean, we... When did we, when, how did it come together? <laughs> really? <laughs> I think you can see, Rabbit had something to do with it. Rabbit, Rabbit had, something had something to do, something to do could, with it. Could you play it to us and then we'll <laughs> we can remember, remember, it. remember Well, what we, we'll be hearing a track in a second. Oh, no, not that one. <laughs> um, I'm glad we're getting all this down. Uh, yeah. Because it's important, all this. How long did you spend? It took much longer than we thought, in fact. We hoped to spend, at the most, two <laughs> weeks. Or a, a month. We, I mean, we approached it very flippantly, you know, much as we're approaching, you know, this. <laughs> and uh, it turned out to be much longer than people wanted. Same as this, only now you've got a thing that can come down. <laughs> Rabbit! <laughs> Stick to the organ! <laughs> and uh, it went on a, a lot longer than we thought. But, you know. I mean, I is this the start of... Uh, Future projects. We're going to do one a week now, aren't we? One a week. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm interested in the, in the development, first of all, you know, in terms of what you're going to do with what you've got now. I mean, are you planning to play on stage, for example? No. No, this is, uh, we put this together because we've known each other for a long time, and uh, I suppose it's been, the, we've been thinking about it for a while. Mm. And the opportunity arose that uh, it was the right time to try and do it, so we tried to do it, and we've done it, you know. Mm. It has got good reviews, actually, hasn't it? Does it, in the current climate, does that surprise you, Pete? Hey, who, me? Mm -hmm. Could you talk for at least <laughs> 15, 20 seconds there, and I didn't interrupt him or anything. I mean, I'm the one that usually does all the talking, you know. Yeah, he's the one, he's the spokesman. Well, I do do the talking for the group. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What was the question again? 
I think it. <laughs> oh, are we going to do reviews, any sort of yeah. thing? Again? Oh, reviews. No, the reviews. Right. We moved on from that. Oh, the reviews. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we paid quite handsome. Well, he, only, he only today. You know that thing you opened up this thing with about, you know, the thing in the, the music papers where we were talking about punk rock groups? Uh, he only got that today because he lives way out in the country, you know. No, so a friend of mine sent it to me and the bit that I had to say was torn out because he'd ripped it out in a frenzy. The yeah, you never, no, no, it was, it was very kind of him to do that, actually. <laughs> yeah. He was probably saving you from the horrible no, truth. No. Yeah, okay. You never said anything. Where was we, Bob? <laughs> Well, we're actually running quite short of time, so I'm going to That's pin you both good. down for a second. <laughs> Get us off the air. And say, <laughs> Get some music all, on. what are you doing now? <laughs> what I am mean, I in, doing? In the immediate future. Uh, I'm get me mobile back in about three weeks and I'll start recording. It means mobile. My mobile studio, that is. Right. Recording machine, yes. What are you doing in the immediate future? I'm in the Tell studio. About you, with Pete. the Who. Yes. And we're making records and films. And we're also signing up groups, and we're looking, you know, looking for talent. There's a lot of talent about these days. <laughs> in fact, we're looking at all these young groups coming up. They're very, very talented. In fact, there's so much talent around. <laughs> we're just, you know, all right. Just in a really, hey, what? I'm going to play you a track from He's your album. He's cutting us off here. What is How's this? That? Look. <laughs> what? Well, this is it. It's Max Wall all over again. Right. <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? They cut him off, <laughs> let him out. Yeah, ten years, wasn't it? It's happening again. It's making history, folks. Pete Townsend, Ronnie Lane, talking very loosely of <coughs> Rough Mix. There are eleven tracks on the album, five written by Pete, four by Ronnie, and one a collaboration between the two of them. This is it with John Bundrick on keyboards, Henry Spinetti on drums, and Eric Clapton on lead guitar. This is Townsend Lane and the title track from Rough Mix. Who's John <laughs>
Chance and he of the rapier wit, Ronnie Lane and Friends, with the title track from the album Rough Mix. OK, we'll be back next Tuesday at 11.15 with our guests, Joan Armour Trading and the Sutherland Brothers and Quiver. And don't forget the first of this winter's Sight and Sound concerts starting this Saturday at 6.30 on BBC Two and Radio One and featuring Camel.